What's up everyone, Jason Turley here. And today you see I have like this big mess of data that is in JSON format and it's all on one line and I'm opening it up here in Vim, which is a text editor. And it's pretty hard to read, it's pretty hard to parse. So today I wanted to showcase two ways to kind of make this output prettier and better formatted using Vim, or I guess rather, I'll be showcasing two different commands that you can run from a Vim window to format JSON text. So the first one we'll be using is actually Python, a Python module. So in the bottom left of my screen, you can see I've hit the colon, so I can now run at different like Vim commands. From here, if I hit Control F, it'll just allow me to cycle through the different commands that I ran. This is my command history, and I can navigate here, and then I can hit Enter when I want to run something. So we see here on line 49, this command that we will be running. So we see the percent sign, percent in Vim means take this action on the current open file. Next is an exclamation point or a bang as I like to call it. All this means is run a command from my terminal. In this case, we'll be running Python 3, which is the version of Python I have on the system. Attack M. And this is how we specify what module we want to run. So we'll be using json.tool. So if I just hit enter here, we see that it automatically formats my text. There's nothing I had to install. Python was already in the system by default. If I hit control U, I can run the full command again. I can do percent sign, exclamation point, Python 3, tech M to specify a module that I want, and then json.tool. So that's quick and easy. That's one way to do it. Another way is um, to actually install a package called jq. So let's do sudo apt install jq. So that should have downloaded successfully. It looks like it did. So now to run this from Vim, we will once again do our colon with the percent sign to specify the current file, bang jq, and then dot to specify we want to run this on uh, the file that we have open. We hit enter and we see that the text is formatted and it takes up more lines and it's not all just on one line and I can actually read this and make sense of it. So that's it guys, pretty short and sweet video. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, for me, that was pretty annoying, just having everything on one line like this, it's like impossible to read. So now we have a few different ways to actually format uh, JSON easily. So as always guys, take it easy, like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.